What if the moon was made of cheese? This is one of those questions that sounds like it came straight from a dream, a bedtime story, or possibly a very strange snack commercial. What if the moon, yes, that glowing orb in the night sky, wasn't a giant rock, but instead a giant hunk of cheese? Let's ignore for a moment how utterly bizarre that is and take it seriously. Because why not? Science is about curiosity, and few things are more curious than a 7.35 quintillion ton ball of cheddar orbiting our planet. First, we need to figure out what kind of cheese are we talking about? Is it Swiss with holes, brie, all gooey in the middle, or maybe something really solid like aged Parmesan? For the sake of simplicity and a bit of fun, let's say it's classic cheddar, not too soft, not too hard, bright orange, tangy, dense, delicious. Now, let's talk numbers. The moon is about 3,474 kilometers wide. Its mass is roughly 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms. That's a lot of cheese. To put it into perspective, if the moon were cheddar, it could feed every person on Earth generously for about a trillion years, assuming, of course, we found a way to keep it from going bad. But food supply is the least weird part of this scenario. The real question is, how would a moon made of cheese actually behave? Let's start with gravity. The moon's gravity is about one-sixth of Earth's, thanks to its mass and density. But cheese is way less dense than rock, about ten times less, depending on the type. That means our cheesy moon would be much lighter. In fact, it might only have around one-tenth of the original moon's mass. Less mass means less gravity. So astronauts visiting the cheese moon would bounce around like over-caffeinated rubber balls. They'd also find it harder to stay on the surface. A strong sneeze might launch you into lunar orbit. But gravity doesn't just affect astronauts. It affects the Earth, too. The moon plays a huge role in shaping our tides. Its gravitational pull stretches Earth's oceans, causing the rise and fall of the tides we see each day. With a much lighter moon, that pull would be significantly weaker. Tides would shrink. Coastal ecosystems would change. Some marine species might not survive the disruption. On the other hand, surfers would be very disappointed. And then there's the orbit. The moon doesn't just hang in space. It's moving. It orbits Earth at about one kilometer per second. That motion, combined with its mass, keeps it stable. But what happens when you swap all that dense rock for spongy cheddar? Well, less mass means weaker momentum. The moon's orbit might decay over time. It could slowly spiral toward Earth, which, if left unchecked, would be a serious problem. Imagine a moon-sized cheese wheel smashing into the planet. It wouldn't be an extinction-level event, unless you're lactose intolerant. But let's imagine it doesn't fall. Let's say the moon remains stable, just cheesy. What about space weather? The moon gets bombarded by micrometeorites all the time. That's fine for solid rock. But for cheese, not so much. Every little impact would splatter, crumble, or melt part of it. Over the years, the moon would start looking like a war-torn cheese ball, full of gouges, cracks, and smelly craters. Then comes the sun. The moon gets very hot during its day, up to 127 degrees Celsius. That's enough to bake most cheeses into bubbling puddles. So we'd end up with a moon that sizzles on one side, possibly releasing a fine mist of cosmic fondue. The smell? Unimaginable. The night sky might permanently reek like a burning grilled cheese sandwich. Let's not even talk about the moon's dark side. That's where the mold would grow. But hold on. What about us? Humans, being humans, would not sit still while an entire planetary satellite of cheese just hangs there. We would absolutely try to eat it. Giant mining drills, cheese shuttles, industrial graders in space. 
we'd invent a whole industry around lunar dairy extraction. Cheesex Corp. would be the first trillion-dollar company, and ads would read, Real Moon, Real Cheese. However, there's a twist. The moon is not just a rock. It's a stabilizer. It keeps Earth's axial tilt in check. Without the moon's mass, Earth would wobble more. Seasons would become extreme, unpredictable. Winters could turn Siberian in the tropics. Summers might roast the poles. The climate could swing wildly from decade to decade. So eating the cheese moon might taste great in the short term. But eventually, we'd pay the price. Entire ecosystems would collapse. Civilization would be thrown into chaos. All because we couldn't resist a cosmic snack. In the end, a moon made of cheese would be fascinating, chaotic, and mildly terrifying. It would smell. It would wobble. It would ruin the tides and probably the weather. And yes, we try to eat it anyway. Because if there's one thing stronger than gravity, it's human curiosity and hunger.